a once-in-a-generation talent on the edge of greatness. Red Bull Racing's Max Verstappen is breaking new ground with every race. It's definitely heading into a very good direction. On track, the 18-year-old is razor-sharp, his aggressive, breathtaking passes, and his first win, shocking the establishment to its core. Setting himself up for a collision course with his teammate Daniel Ricciardo. Verstappen's destiny is clear. He's a Formula One world champion in the making. The only uncertainty is when. Can the talented Dutchman spring another surprise in Hungary? You're watching The Inside Line. Max Verstappen was special well before he pulled on the helmet for Red Bull Racing. At Toro Rosso, he was immediately at ease, well before his race debut. Calm as you like, driving a Formula One car in practice sessions at Suzuka, Austin and Interlagos in 2014. At that point, he'd been racing cars for less than a year, his sole season in European Formula Three, netting 10 wins and seven pole positions. The then 17-year-old, every bit as relaxed as he is now. It happened so fast in one year, from car race in Formula 3 only. So, um, yeah, at the moment, I think I start to realize it a bit more when you see an F1 car. But I think you completely realize it when you are the first time in an F1 car. Then you are, OK, this is it. <laughs> Max Verstappen! Verstappen's reputation as a superstar in the making has been skyrocketing ever since his karting days. While his performances in F1 have lived up to the hype, starting from his single season with Toro Rosso in 2015, during which he made some audacious passes and outscored Carlos Sainz 49 points to 18 culminating in his win on debut for Red Bull Racing in Spain this year, holding back Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen on aging rubber. This weekend has been great. I learned a lot, I'm still learning a lot, and uh, yeah, to come into a new team and straight away win the race, perfect. In Austria, he rose through the field before capitalizing on Mercedes' last lap clash to finish second despite 56 laps on the softs. He repeated the result in Great Britain with the move of the race on Nico Rosberg around the outside of Beckett's in the wet, no less. Importantly, Verstappen's confidence is growing day by day at a team he can push to the limits with. What for me changes is just that I have a car that is capable of getting to podiums and victories, which uh, I didn't have before. And yeah, it's just a very good environment, I would say, very relaxed. It's what I like, so they give you a lot of confidence, and that's, I think, very important. Should Red Bull Racing produce a car capable of consistently challenging Mercedes, expect nothing less than a Verstappen whitewash. It could come as early as 2017, with Red Bull's design team, led by aero genius Adrian Newey, arguably one of the best in the business and very capable of making the most of the technical regulation shake-up. For now, it's about making the most of every race. In Daniel Ricciardo, he has a solid benchmark, a driver able to leave it all on the table in qualifying and the race. But Verstappen is already proving himself as top dog able to wring the neck of the car like all the greats. Despite all the expectations, he's not feeling overwhelmed. Well, I wouldn't say more pressure, to be honest. Of course, you're driving for a top team now, but at the end, you always try to do your best, and that's what I always try to do. Um, so for me, no, I don't feel more pressure. The sky's the limit for Verstappen. Sooner or later, he's going to become a Formula One world champion.